It's come to my attention that many people have been wondering what the proper etiquette for church attendance is. So we thought it would be helpful to give an instructional video of the do's and don'ts of proper church etiquette. When arriving to church, please make sure to be on time, as tardiness can be a distraction and a nuisance to others. When getting dressed, we all prefer to be hip or with it. But in choosing your attire for church, please remember that reverence for God is your top priority. During worship, unity is important, but for those who may be rhythmically challenged, we might suggest snapping or a light pat on the leg. Worship is also a great time to express your love and emotions to God, but in doing so, please be considerate of space and others around you. In Luke 22, Jesus instructs his disciples to take this bread as a remembrance of the body that was broken. Bear in mind, you don't need the whole body in order to participate. The goal of communion is to connect with the sacrifice of Jesus. This can be achieved by prayer, meditation, and or reflection. But please do not let your meditation inhibit the reflection of others. The collection of contribution comes often quickly after communion. As such, it can be difficult to be prepared. But remember, every jingle jangle of the tray can mean a distraction away from the reverence of God. And remember, the tithe basket is not the place to break your fiver. Many a passionate prayer can get caught up in their expressions to our Lord and can often use his name as different forms of punctuation. Please refrain from using different forms of fatheritis. The Bible says to encourage one another daily. In doing so, be considerate not just of what you say, but how you say it. Hugging is an excellent form of affection, but please refrain from doing so in a way that might be construed as Awkward. And finally, for all you growing men out there, please be mindful of sweaty pit to hair contact. This video was helpful for you. Our aim is to educate and instruct people to decrease the amount of fellowship faux pas and increase our reverence and worship in God. So for now, so long.